Now that you got your card, who are you voting for? I will vote for Good Luck Jonathan. I have uh, listen. In the case of Good Luck Jonathan, I I I always wanted to support him because I believed he would do a, a national conference, and he went after it methodically. Even Tinubu admitted it that he was method methodical in the way he called uh, civil society organization, had the Belgore Commission, had uh, the National Assembly, Senate and House of Reps deal with the constitution before he called a national conference. What that means is that we had a president whom, while everybody was saying he was clueless, actually was very diligent in going after it. I've given a lecture on, on the national conference, which I feel very good about. I have promised you a copy, and I'll tell you this. If they did not start saying he was clueless, I would not have taken the pains of following the things that good luck had done. He outclassed every preceding president, and I'm saying that anywhere, because in fact, I have a friend, when you tell him there's a new, brand new railway line coming from Kaduna to Abuja, they say, don't, it's a lie, it never happened. You can go there and take the photograph. And it is that way of saying, he didn't do it, he didn't do that, he was clueless, that made many Nigerians refuse to look until, until the elections came. And then suddenly, with the postponement, they began to see that many of the things they tried to deny we are in existence. That lie that the man was cool, clueless and hadn't done anything, in my view, was a good way to fight a good election. It showed that the opposition had good propaganda weaponry. But for God's sake, why couldn't they put that good propaganda weaponry into convincing Nigerians to do what we all expected? One, get chapter two of the Nigerian constitution to be put in chapter four and made justiciable. That's what the National Conference have done. And they, when you are dealing with corruption, when you are dealing with corruption, good luck managed to use modern technology to remove the, 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 the corruption mafia in agriculture and also to remove them in the ghost workers department in the federal service. The fact that they did that shows that what good luck is actually pursuing is an instrumentation, a structural instrumentation for ensuring that whatever individuals might be there will be no basis for corruption to continue, which tells and, me. And you believe that? I mean, you know considering what? the corruption that is going on in the NMPC. Oh, that's exactly the point I'm coming yeah. to. The corruption that is going on in, 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 in NMPC is based on the lives of people. The Sanusi was about to be sacked 18 months before he should have been sacked. But he, good luck gave him time because good luck did not want to be seen as, uh, as oppressing somebody from the north. The truth is that. He should have been sacked. It was when he knew he but, was but going even, to be sacked. Even, but even that Goodluck could not could not publish the report of the KPNG, um, the report that was carried out. You mean he has not yet published it? He has not. He refused to make it public. No, but the thing, the thing came, the thing, Nigerian governments normally do not bring those reports out too quickly. The only reason this one was brought out quickly was because Nigerians were demanding it. With, it hasn't with, been with brought out. We, just, we have just been told excerpts. Yes. yes. Listen, why, why can't you release it? Listen, the point you know. I want to make, and that's a, a point everybody ought to ask themselves. How can you have a central bank government? No, who cannot count? Who starts by telling you that? Who, who starts who start by telling you uh, 49, 49 million is missing? Then he reduces it to 29. Billions. He reduces it to 10 billion dollars. And then he raises it again to 20. A central bank governor who cannot count like that is Sorry. a disgrace to his country and a disgrace to the position he takes. An opposition member who identifies with it and therefore goes on telling people that his own country is corrupt. Is irresponsible. Well, thank you so much for coming on Sarah TV. It's nice thank you, talking sir. to you. <laughs> we are yes. killing it, right? Yes. Did you finish? Did you miss it? Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you, were you able to conclude? No. Yeah.